Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can change the spawn locations for new players as they spawn in in your um, DAISY Xbox or PlayStation Nitrado private server. Um, we're going to show you an easy kind of way where you can swap the spawns around then we're going to show you a way that you can customize the spawn points to exactly where you want to be and then we're also going to to start off with, I'm just going to tell you a little about a little bit of explanation about how Daisy works out the spawn points, because I tend to find that if you kind of understand wh why Daisy does the things it does, that can help you when things don't go right, and you think, well, why didn't that work? And and you can kind of uh, reverse engineer things, because as you know, there is no manual for this for for modding servers in Daisy. So. Go to your Nitrado web interface, go to the um, the settings for the particular server you want to look at. And you want to go into the file browser, but wait, I just want to show you something else first. Go into settings, go into general, and I want to go down and I want you to look at this setting here. Re reset mission XML to default. So if you ever edit the files on your on your Daisy custom server and things don't work. Things start to go wrong, and you're not sure why. First thing, do a server restart. Second thing, roll back to the previous backup of the file or files you were working on. And if that still doesn't work, you tick that button, reset, reset mission XML default, and you restart your server. And all those XML files that are there that you can edit will all go back to vanilla. So your server will start to work again the way it should, and then you can start changing things again, looking at how you're doing things and changing little bits. Okay, so that's the little PSA. So let's go to the file browser. Let's have a look at Daisy PS missions. So click on that folder there. And then Daisy Chandra's Plus. If this is Livonia, it'll say Enoch. And then the file we're interested in is called I've got lots of backups here CFG player spawn points dot XML so we're just gonna look at this we're not gonna edit anything yet because I haven't done my backup now rather unusually for DayZ this file does a pretty good job of explaining what and how spawn points work I think the dev who was working on this maybe he was new and he hadn't been given the Bohemia interactive um, induction where they say whoa, whoa whatever you do don't tell people how to do stuff. We're gonna let them. We're gonna let them edit all this stuff, but don't give them any instructions. That this this gives you instructions. But if you first just scroll down through the file past all this stuff, you then get to this bit: generator pause buttons. Buttons. As you can see, these are all locations. These are all X Y coordinates, north and east coordinates on the map. These aren't exactly where you spawn as a new player, because if you think about Think about Daisy. Think about the game. Think about how it works. You've got you've got this massive map, and you'll tend to spawn on Chernus on the coast, don't you? Or slightly inland sometimes. But if you think about what's going on, on in that map at the same time, you've got another sixty odd players running around. You've got animals there. You've got zombies moving around. You've got cars. You've got people building bases. You've got people dropping things, barrels, um, all this sort of stuff's going on. And it can't spawn you in inside somebody's base, or on top of somebody's base, or under somebody's car, or under a bear, or in in a place where there's a pack of zombies. It can't do that, can it? Because that would be a pretty bad gameplay experience. And so the way that it works with spawning people, new players, is that it says around these coordinates, look for a safe place to spawn that's away from a building that isn't on the edge of a cliff um, and hasn't got other people or other things around it and then then spawn someone in all right now we we all know that occasionally you're going to get those glitchy spawns aren't you where something wrong goes up and you glitch inside a rock or something that you know it doesn't happen as much used to used to but you know but this is that's how it works it's the player spawns are not in specific locations. Now, you'll also notice there, there's no height value is, as either. So that, that's quite important as well when it comes to spawning things. But So in order to change the player spawns, all we need to do, all he says, <laughs> is change these coordinates. There's quite a few. There's loads in there. It's a big map. 
So what I'm going to show you how to do first is we're going to do a simple spawn swap. So we're going to look for something else that spawns on the map and we're just going to change those spawns. So first things first though, let's go back to the uh, to the, the folder and then what I want you to do is, I'm going to have to get rid of some of these backups, I can't see what I'm doing. So C, CF player spawns XML, what you do is you hit copy, you go down to the bottom and you copy here and you give it a name and a date backup.xml and you save it. I'm not going, oh god, I'm not going to because um, I've already done it. Um, and then what I want you to do is I want you to come back up and you want to look at this one. It says CF event spawns. So when you click on that and it will load up, it's quite a big one. And what we have here, we have coordinates. And we have coordinates for all the all oh, maybe the wrong word lots of the items that spawn in on daisy things like the cars things like the helicopter crashes they're all here so, um, they're all here and look lo there's, there's loot it says here not sure what that applies to and what's really great static christmas tree remember when we had those there's only a few of those um, vehicle off-road hatchback Look at all these coordinates. The police cars. You know when you're running along and see the police cars? These are all the things that spawn in kind of in the same place, but not they're not always there, are they? You know when you look on the Daisy map, the the I Survive map, and there'll be like a, uh, a helicopter crash or a police car. They're not always there, are they? Because they, they, they move around the map and sometimes they spawn. Um, well, that's what these coordinates are. So what you can do, and this is the easiest way of changing spawn points, is you can just take the static police car coordinates and you can just go around click and click and drag da, 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 da. God, there's loads of them probably probably too many do we really need all of these and then we can right click copy then we can come out of that and now we go back to our player spawns CFG player spawns XML we go in there we roll down and then we just cover all these clicking and dragging so we get to the bottom then right click paste as plain text and that then overwrites this. Now, in my experience, the fact that we now have um, the um, third integer, the, the height, doesn't matter. It still works. And so what's now now is going to happen with your new players, if you, save, if you save that and then you restart the server, players would now spawn, instead of playing on, uh, on spawning on the edge of the map, they would spawn where all the police cars, or not where all, the, where lots of the police cars would be. So they would spawn anywhere on the map because police cars, they're all over the place, aren't they? So people, people would be spawning, instead of on the edge, they'd be spawning in the map. That'd be quite cool. That's quite cool, isn't it? So that, that's an easy way of doing it. And so any of those things you saw in the, um, uh, that, that spawns file, the, you know, the helicopter crash, helicopter crash is a good one because then they would spawn up in sort of the north uh, west part of the map. Um, Christmas trees that might be a fun one to do you, you you'd spawn them there um, and it's an easy thing and it worked pretty much straight away and you've changed the spawn points so what we're going to do next is let's think about how you could create custom spawn points now this this takes a bit longer but let's say you wanted to do something like um, zoom in on the I survive map Let's say you wanted to do like a, a deathmatch event and you wanted to do it around the airfield here. And you wanted your, all the players to spawn around the airfield or even on the airfield. It's up to you. You can do whatever you like. What I recommend you do is open up um, Notepad or, or a, you know a, a simple editor. And then using the I survive map, um, so just search for I survive I Z U R V I V map uh, I survive so I Z U R V I V 
map on Google and it will come up. It's daisy.gmfo.gg, I think, something like that. I'll put the links down below in the, in the show bunch. Now, as I'm moving my little hand around, can you see down here, we've got the coordinates changing. Now, we know coordinates is what we need. So if I just stop my hand there and type control C on my on my keyboard, that says copy to clipboard. If I come over here and I can paste that in. They are the coordinates of where my hand just was. How cool is that? So then what you could then do, now I've warned you this would take a while. <laughs> you would then copy those coordinates one at a time over here and overwrite that coordinate there and paste that in and you do that for the X and the Z position now granted it's gonna take a while but although there's I don't know, there must be a hundred, at least hundred different spawn positions here. When you're doing something like this, you're probably only going to have maybe twenty different spawn positions around the map, uh, around the around the airfield. You know, because you want people are going to be spawning in, running in, fighting, doing what they're doing, and then dying, and then spawning in again. So you don't need a hundred different positions. The other way that you can get those coordinates from, as well, remember is that if you go into your log files and then you go into here remember you've got your player positions uh, logs are now on the system if you've activated it and so you've got all the positions there so one of the things you could do and I would recommend do this is in, this could be the easiest way to do it because in fact if you look at the log files what we've got position if we copy that out there that position there so that's the height isn't it let's go over let's just post that into there yeah so what you could do is you you could spawn into your private server and then get to the airfield and then just run around the airfield or jog around the outside of the airfield and every five minutes what happens is that the server logs your position I guess walking would probably the business so it might take you quite a while to do it but once you've done it you could then go come into here copy out all the uh, positions and then you would then go back to oh, if we get to the right screen go back to your file browser Go back to your player spawns and then you could then start copying and pasting them. Uh, yeah, it's still a bit of a pain because it's not in the same format is it as it is there because you've got X and Z. But as you can see, it's very doable. It's going to take time. But that is the way that you can come up with custom spawn locations. And I know lots of you guys who've got customer servers, you probably don't have 60 people, you know, all at once on the server. So it doesn't matter if you've got spawn points that are in a similar place. Um, and so, you, you know, so you could do that that way. And one of the things I'm actually going to be doing as well is um, over the next, I don't know, few days, I'm going to be putting a call out on our, um, on our Discord for amateur cartographers so people who have got um, Daisy private servers on Xbox or PlayStation to, to if they fancy having go at creating custom position spawn files for particular places on the map so for example you'll be able to come over to our discord and this hasn't been done yet so don't come, well I suppose you could come over by the time you watch this video so there will be a text file that you could download that would have all the positions for um, spawn points all the way around the northwest airfield so it would have positions for places you know um, all around Gorka all around Servograd you know uh, spawn points all around Tizzy military base you know for, for doing specific types of events where you want to do something where everybody spawns in specific places on the map so 
there we go hopefully that's given you some ideas for you know how quite simple it is to change player spawn points in daisy you can do the easy like the swap like i showed at the beginning where you just take an existing um spawnable item and swap those those coordinates in i mean you could even mix and match a bit can you you could you could swap it for some static heli crash ones you could swap it for some police car ones you could swap it for uh, probably not zombie ones because <laughs> responding with zombies but you kind of get the idea um or you can go totally custom and you can create your own file using either you know the i survive map and copying the coordinates into like notepad and then reformatting them or use your log files um where people have been running around and you can use them to spawn them in that way um i mean one final thing probably as well is and this is this is quite if you were using your i've just thought of this if you are the only person on your daisy server so in effect you're using it as a single player server one of the things you could do is you could get rid of all of those pos bubbles and just have one where your base was so when if you ever died you always spawned back near your base that'd be cool wouldn't it anyway that's enough from me if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you again soon